Peyton Gender and the accused of shooter is expected in court tomorrow after his initial hearing was rescheduled from last Monday due to snow. The accused shooter's attorney said on November 17th that his client is expected to plead guilty to all 25 state counts, including first degree murder, second degree murder as a hate crime and first degree domestic ask of terrorism motivated by hate. Recently, our Claudine Euting sat down with Garnell Whitfield, the son of one of the victims and a member of the Buffalo community who has lobbied for change in D.C. since the May attack. Take a look. You know, the goal is to make sure um, that we have these conversations, that we call it what it is, and that people accept responsibility for the way things are. Because here's the truth of it, that was not an accident. That was not an aberration. It's been happening since we came here. Our people have been slaughtered, mistreated, under-resourced, under-educated, miseducated, held down from day one. Hundreds of years. It all comes after Gendron pleaded guilt, not guilty back in July to federal hate crime charges that could be punishable by the death penalty. The Buffalo News reported attorneys familiar with the case said this guilty plea is likely a strategy aimed at avoiding a federal death penalty sentence. Gendron's guilty plea tomorrow will most likely result in life in prison without parole, according to attorneys. Reporting in the studio, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.